Triumph with Fight the Good Fight. This is the CBT guitar lesson for Mark. Thanks for your patience. I know this light's weird, but it seems to be shining. We're kind of doing some light experiments here lately. But, um, yeah. Um, for close-ups, this seems to be working, but I'm still getting some shadows I'm not liking, so we're going to mess with it. So anyways, for Mark, this is going to be a tough one. I used an upload of someone doing a cover. But like always, uh, he did a great job, but I also referred to the actual song. There was a few parts he had wrong, but um, he did a fabulous job. So I think that'll be a good one for you to kind of look at and follow. On the beginning, it's actually played on an acoustic nylon string. Um, he's got that, or actually it was. Okay, so I'm gonna break that down. A lot of bar chords. This is a D2, barred fifth fret from the A string all the way down, and then goes seven D and G. What you need, make sure you can hear. Even Mark, if it's too hard to do all the picking, if you at least want to run through the chords and strum through them, that's fine. The progression is pretty much. Um, I would go. If you want, also you can use a pick, but I believe he's finger picking. So I'm going A D G D. So we have different ways you can go. I'm going thumb, thumb, index, thumb, but just experiment. And then B, G, D, G, three times. Fades in. Repeat it, but put your middle finger on 6B. That's now a D minor. Then we're going to go to a C major, 3A, bar the fifth fret on the D, G, and B. Third or fourth finger, doesn't matter. We're going to go A, D, G, D, and then B, G, D, G. Just in your tab, it's all there. Do the same thing, but over this chord. Um, D sharp major, just take everything, move it up to 6 and 8. Same thing, though. We have... So... From there, we're going to an A sharp major, uh, bar everything fret 6, go 8th fret A and D, and 7 G with the middle. Now on this one, I'm skipping a string, I'm going E, and then going D, G, D, and then B, G, D, G. Then after that, C sharp major, it's the same as the 3, 5 one you did, but it's now 4, 6. And then G sharp major, it's the same as the A sharp, but barring the fourth fret, the pick it the same way. And then it does a G minor seven, that's bar everything third fret and go five A. It's a pretty chord. And on this one, you're gonna go E, A, and then go G, B, E, and then B, G, B, so it's and then a C2, just bar down, same fret, um, but on the A string, you don't need the low E in it. And then 5 D, G. And then we're gonna go. So these pick patterns are a little different here. This is the same, almost as the G minor seven, but it's A all the way through to the high E. And then end with B, G, B. Use your thumb for all this, you know? However. See uh, the end of the double dots, that means repeat. Go back, repeat everything, second time, no star. Well, the star is just the last note. And it slows down on that. Instead of the 3B, it's a f uh, 5 on the, on, the, uh, on the D string. And then strum it all. Like this. Okay? Then... I'm going to get a little more bite on this. Might be a little too much bite. Too bassy. Too bassy. 
too twangy. I'm gonna go with this for now. It's a D minor. 1E, 3B, 2G. Now live, Rick Emmett, who's a fabulous, amazing guitar player, reminds me of Jimmy Page, but uh, he does some things different than he recorded it, and I just know by the tonality. This could, you know. He uses different chord inversions and stuff, but uh, check it out. You, go, um, you could do these with downs too, like. But um, I think it's more comfortable alternating, and there's a difference in the feel. So down, up, down, up, down. Add the pinky to 3E. E, and then lift it off. Then we're going to karate chop. We're going to rest. Okay, then go 5th fret D, G, and B barred. And then um, up, down, up. And then... So up, down, up, down to the 6B, and then lift it off. So. Then you're going to go. It'll be 2A, open D and G, 3B. You'll go down, up, up, mute, to a full G chord. 3, 2, open, open, 3, 3. Which you were halfway there, so. 3A, 2, 3, no, 3E, 2, 3A, and then 3, 2, open D, and then 3A. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see both hands here. So that's the first time. Second time, oops, try it again. This time, instead of going, you're going to go, um, it will go mute, down up, basically the last four strings, and then seven, eight, seven, can be played a few different ways, um, down up, down up, okay, and then, um, you're right back, you'll see, um, uh, section 1B, 31 seconds, um, the way I worded it is it's four times, second and fourth time, no star. So, second and fourth time, you don't do the... You don't play that. In place of it'll be... Alright. Oops. Alright, so that clears page two. Page three, section 1C, 53 seconds in. Uh, this is, I believe, where Rick starts singing. Just like the beginning part you just did. Now this is weird. Oops. Watch him do this live. I mean, you could go... Which sounds kind of fuller, but... 3, 2, open, 1, open. From the A string down. Up, down, up, down. But when you go down now, go open G, bar the first fret B and E. And then go right back to the C. So. Interesting, huh? I'll show you the variation you can use. 3A, barred 5th fret D, G, and B. Up, down, up, down on 6B. And then lift it off. This is how I saw him do it live. Um, second way is fuller. So you'd have... If you want to do that. And then um, you'll go back to this. Two open, open three, A through B string. And then start it over. So. Um, so it's two times of all that. And then at the end of those two times, you go seven, eight, seven. G, B, G. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's like a D major, right? If you were here, but it's up here. It's called G major over here, though. Um, then, when it changes...
you'll go 1A, 3D, open G, 3B. Lower your thumb mark because you don't want to mute the G. You should hear all that. So strum it. Section 2A, minute 14. Move it a whole step higher, two frets. And you do it again. Then you have a series of repeats. 1C, 2A, and then this part. Get a little heavier here though. It's the chorus, section 2B, 213 in on the song. You'll go. So we have. Got it? So, power chords, 5-7 AD. It actually puts a little slide on this, too. Then down, up, down, up, mute. Just light pressure. Sounds like Pac-Man, right? Same thing over a B-flat, 1A, 3D. Except you won't be um, sliding on that. Same thing on a C power chord, 3rd and 5th fret. And then G to F, and that's 3-5 EA to 1-3 EA. So your chords without the muting is... Okay, do it two times, second time, no star. The star is the G and the F. This time you'll go you'll go to it, but you're gonna go down up up. And then down up on the F chord. So you gotta be able to switch power chords fast enough because the rest is after the movement. If it was before, it'd be a lot easier, right? But it's Alright, that um, whole thing is done two times, second time, no star. Like I said, and then that replaces the, the star the second time, though. Then you go. <coughs> That's how you'll end it. With G, C major, 3A, 5th fret, D, G, and B. And B flat, 1A, 3D. Do any of these, Mark. If they're too hard for you to play, like the full C major, take the major part off and just play the root five, which is just a power chord. Instead of you struggling to go, get all that, just go. Although, the goal is to, to be able to play those chords, you know? You want to get better at guitar. You know, shortcuts are fine as long as you're still working to try and get it the right way. That should be the ultimate goal always. All right, um, that's it for that part, the big grand chorus there. Now, then, then we go to this part. There's a lot of cool chords happening here. It's like a... Uh, do go. Oops. It's a D minor, one, three, two, open from the high E string up. Your picking is gonna be D, G, B, E, rest, B, G, D. Repeat that, move the chord a whole step higher. That would be an E minor with a D bass. Then we're gonna go picture a D major, but it's uh, on the fifth fret, five, six, five. And like, you know, you can bar that, you can do it however you want. Uh, same thing. Back to the prior chord, the E minor with the with the D bass. That's gonna go four times. This is one time.
After you do that four times, at 2 minutes 58 seconds, you'll hear this. The first two are the same, then he changes some stuff. He goes... It's the, still the D shape, right? 5, 6, 5. But the picking goes... You do some string skipping. D, B, G, E. Rest, and then do the B string. Throw in pinky on the 8th fret, so it's... It's a good little exercise, just that. You want to improve on guitar? Use this. And don't even relate it to the song from Triumph. You know what I mean? Just get used to those things. Hit the 5G where you're at, slide it to 7. And what you're going to do, once you get there, let it ring, go 8B, 10E, and 7E. You may want to bar that. And like I said, you can always change the fingering around. After you do that, go 810 on the B and E string. So it's 